So that's more like my chest level. Oh, right? So when you're doing that, it's more like my chest level? No? If you want to give me the camera, I can put it at normal height. I know, or, or hold on. How's that? Yeah, 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 let's take it. Get on my shoulder. Ready? One, two. What do you think about that, Nick? Can't take these guys anywhere. <laughs> Clowns. 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 You're, a joke. You're a joke. You're a joke. We're here on our brand new Shallow Sport 25 X3. We're on the Yamaha dock, and we got the brand new Yamaha 350. Super excited about it. 4.3 liter. We'll pull a cowling off and show you that. But um, we sold our other X3 recently, and this is the new one we just took delivery of. Want to show you guys all through it and uh, you know show you the differences we made, the changes, and kind of tell you why we did them. So the first thing I'll notice, all Garmin Electronics. We made the switch last year and been super happy with them, and the machines are just super responsive. But got a 12-inch unit right there. We got a Fusion sound system, and I call them bazooka speakers. I'm not sure the exact term, but we got them facing backwards, facing forwards. We got all the speakers and subs on the boat like we had them before down low. These ones are lit up with lights in there. You can twist them and turn them so you can really move the sound around if you're anchored down to the sandbar or whatnot. But super nice like that. We did white powder coating this time. I haven't powder coated any of my other boats before, you know, whether it's the Freemans or the Shallow Sports, um, because sometimes it does chip and you know, it can kind of come off, but they say their quality is really good and love the way the white looks here. You don't have to sham it. We use our spots or any house, so we don't have to sham it, but this one has the new hard top. It's the first one with the hard top. So our last one had a canvas top with metal frame, but this is actual fiberglass mold and foam there. So it's a hard top right there with the stand through tower. And we'll show you the stand through tower next if you want to jump on here. So this one, the entry is a little different. It has a slide hatch that you can roll and slide. And we blacked out the bottom of it with some carbon tape. So that way the sunlight doesn't come in and blind you. But step right here like usual, up top and come up here to the tower. We got our Garmin screen up here. Got your shifter there for your Yamaha. We got trim tabs up here as well. Your jack plate, your steering wheel, radio antenna, because this one does have a Garmin VHF radio on it. The further up this is, the better. Line of sight, so the VHF will work better. And this one has the new seat they just came out with. And our other seat was decent up here, but this one's even better. We went with diamond stitching, so all the cushions here have the diamond stitch. Makes it look really nice. Two-tone though, got the seafoam green and the whitish color on top there. Very comfortable backrest, get two people up here easily. We got the light bar on this one, and they actually added a foot rest. So there's a bar here to put your feet on when you're sitting right there, and super comfortable up here, better visibility. If you're gonna use a tower and want to sight fish some, highly recommend it. If you're not gonna do it, because that's not your thing, you don't have to get it, but definitely a really nice option. And of course, we got another Rodan trolling motor. Been super happy with them the last couple of years. And this is a 72 inch shaft. We actually put the support here, a little mount there to help hold it stable. I don't know if we need it or not. We didn't have an elbow, but definitely run around so it doesn't bounce around as much. Same configuration as before. In here is the middle fish box that we always use for fish. We just got some uh, a little shade material in there right now. In here, we got our life jackets and these other hatches. Up front, we do have the anchor too, but life jackets in here, throw cushions, some safety gear. And then we do keep an anchor up here in the front. But uh, very similar to our other boat, you know. We did sell the other one. This one here though, made a few small changes on it. Actually the trolling motor's on the left side of the boat here, the port side of the boat. And that's really because where we docked the boat, this one goes on the left side of the dock there, the port side. So hence we put that there so it's not rubbing on the center dock there, which is you know on the starboard side there. We don't want the trolling motor hitting the dock. This is all the diamond stitching. You can obviously see it, it looks like a diamond, but just gives that nice texture to it and makes it stand out a little better. Hatch right here pulls down. Keep paper towels in there, keep some registration, stuff like that. In here, now this is a live well or a drink box. We always use it for the drink box. So we'll actually disconnect the uh, hose from the live well pump because there's two other live wells back there. We don't need three on here. But got some water in there and some cold drinks there. One upgrade was all the courtesy lights they added and just some of these small touches, you know, do make a big difference in the way the boat looks there, especially cruising around and it gives it a nice uh, little bit of appeal. Deck hatches are the same as the last one, but you can put fishing rods in here. There's four uh, slots for fishing rods. We keep dive gear in there a lot of time. Underneath here is how you access your battery. And actually one new upgrade on this boat too, we went to all Dakota lithium batteries. 
uh, you know, for the trolling motor plus for the house. So we can open this up. You can see right here, we got some of the Dakotas right there as well as on the other side. And I'll put a link below to get them, you know, if you want that long lasting power and a little bit lighter weight, they're a great option to have there. A couple more options on here, the power pole charge, that's the plug-in unit right there. And we put that power pole charge system on the 28 Freeman as well that we got. It's like a three in one battery charger, you know? So you plug it in, it's like a regular battery charger. It moves power around between your trolling motor batteries plus your house batteries. And it's like an emergency start. So if you, or out there fishing all day and worried about it, the sound system's going. You kill your batteries there, you can, you can swap it over there and crank your engine there and always get home, which is nice. Storage in here. You have to wear this for the Manatee Observer at the boat show here. And uh, they gotta watch out for the Manatee, so. Manatee Observer wears that. If they're on the bow of the boat, they're looking for them. So back here, you got your backrest, a great seat while you're running. And these are the two live wells that we use. You know, up front can be a live well as well, but this has been plenty, so. One more live well in here. We just got our chamois in there for right now and all our Stark products. You guys who've been using the Stark stuff, I'll put a link in the video description. You can save a few bucks, but they make some killer products. And this boat's actually gonna go get ceramic coated. We were super happy the last uh, five months with the 28 and the 42 Freeman that got ceramic coated with all the Stark stuff. So we're sending it back to the factory on the West Coast and they're gonna take care of that here. Just makes cleaning the boat that much easier. And then you gotta use the right product you know, after you have that applied so it lasts longer. But I'll put a link below for all the Stark stuff. And uh, they got soap, rust removers, water spot removers, the ceramic coating and all sorts of stuff, wax. So check it out there. Back here is one more live well and great for like shrimp, pinfish. A lot of times we'll stick it up like that and it stays by itself. We put power poles on here again as well. You know, the shallow water anchors. And we had 10 footers on the last boat. This one went with eight footers. Um, depending on you know, what type of fishing you're doing or what activities, that would kind of dictate what you need. But since we didn't do a lot of that deep channel fishing, you know, and seven, eight, nine feet of water, we spent more time with the sandbar using them and kind of the edge of the shallower flats, the eight footers would be more than enough. So got a pair of those. We got the powder coated ladder here to get in and out of the water. And we actually raised the main step on it above the water line because below the water line, a lot of algae grew on it. So that was one little tweak that they made for us. And uh, they do all their metal work in-house so they could make that customization, which was super nice. I'm gonna show you two more things and then uh, we're gonna pull this cowling off and show you the inside of the 350. Then the back access hatch here, right. plenty of storage. You got your bilge access down here, power pole pump there and uh, check that out. We did add a couple more cup holders up here. We have those powder coated as well. And you can add, you know, that stuff on here. When you work with them, they can customize all these options. So happy to have those. But the biggest thing that we're happy about is the fresh water tank. So we have a fresh water tank in here now for a fresh water wash down. If you're diving, lobstering, you want to rinse off, you're swimming at the sandbar. This is where you fill it right here. And the tank is underneath here. We'll uh, open that hatch up and show you, but underneath the deck where you stand on there, the same 80 gallon fuel tank. And then we have, I believe, a 12 gallon fresh water tank, which is more than enough for the day, you know, to rinse off a few times. And now it's time to pull the cowling off and check out this new 350 Yamaha. La, la, la. Check out this fine piece of machinery and equipment. Very similar, you know, 4.3 liter, about 300 to 4.2. And uh, got your oil dipstick right there, oil filter. And uh, I'll just kind of let you guys see the whole engine there. It's obviously brand new, so it's super clean. And this boat's getting about five miles an hour faster than 300, so a nice increase in speed, about 10%. And the fuel burn seems to be quite a bit better too. We're still playing with the props. Um, we're gonna keep testing the props there and tweaking them and we'll see how it does but hopefully we'll get these 350s on the 42 Freeman one day and glad to have them here and uh, can't wait to get some more hours on this boat on this engine and put it to work. So we're here with Wes from Shallow Sport on the brand new 32X3 correct? Yep. Just came out? Just came out brand new. At the Miami Boat Show here, Garmin Electronics. We'll get a quick walk through of this and uh, this is a new one to your line so you got the 25X3, 32X3, 28X3. 28X3 as well, 24 Mod V, yeah. which other ones? Uh, 21 Sport, 24 Sport, 18 Sport, the Classic line. We got 11 different models. 11 different models and the SC, SCBs too. SCBs right? got the 22 and the 24. Awesome. We did the Shallow Sport Owners Tournament back in December. That was a great time in the Keys. And uh, hopefully we're going to go to Texas and see you guys again in May. SCB Classy, SCB Classy, Pussy, right in Yep. We're waiting for the Manti Observers to get off the radio. <laughs> Anyhow, you want to give us a quick walkthrough real quick? Yeah, sure. We'll start at the front. Sure. Perfect. So, Nick, uh, the 32X3 is a lot of similar 
uh, hatches that you see on the 25 and the 28, just in a bigger package, you know, higher gunnels and then more of them. So we'll start with the anchor locker up here. You got uh, access for your anchor road. That actually connects down to this hatch, so it's all together. So you can put a lot of anchor line in there. We got storage on both sides. This has got the optional um, seating package. So basically, you know, storage underneath, but also makes for a nice seat for cruising, two extra people. These actually come out, so you could store them or leave them at the dock, and now you've got extra rod holders as well. You got uh, storage down here. I've actually put my three troll motor batteries down inside there, so I got a, a troll motor mm -hmm. for a spot lock anchor. This is the chase lounge, so everybody loves this. Uh, it's a great place to sit. You got folding arms, built-in cup holders, and it's just a great place to hang out. In-deck fish boxes, five foot long, super insulated. They hold ice for days. This is our uh, hard top, and we do have an optional top drive now. So that top drive is a is a breakaway tower that folds. So it takes, easier. yeah, you can put it on the trailer by yourself. It takes one or two people. You take two bolts on each side, and it actually folds down into the cockpit. And then the console, uh, uh, the top console actually folds down straight down to the deck. So it's easy to take apart and it's easy to trailer. The light bar up there, you got the Garmin radar, a couple of VHF antennas. Mm -hmm. And then one of the unique things about this boat is that we've actually got a third hole in the center. And so I'm six foot three. I can get in here and stand up. We've got a full stand up cabin. We've got a porta potty, lots of storage all the way forward. These compartments actually fold and could lift up. So you can see we've got lots of storage under there. And then behind here, we've got all of our wiring, our batteries and our electronics. So easy to access, easy to work on. Come back here to the helm. We've got a full offshore console, twin 16 inch Garmin's. We've got the Marlin digital switching, C-Star trim tabs. So, you know, all the common amenities uh, that you would find on the boat this side. Coming back here, we got a refrigerator down there. Refrigerator. So, I don't know about you guys, but I grew up fishing offshore and, you know, a bucket of chicken's really nice offshore. Oh, yeah. I love the and chicken. You don't want them floating around in the water, you know, or your sandwich meat, sandwich bread, and all that kind of stuff goes in there. It's really nice. And it runs right off the batteries. It runs off the batteries so the whole day. I guess. When you're at the dock, you can plug in the shore power and it'll run it as well. And then walking back here, you've got another insulated ice chest here. Very large. And then you've got some drawers and some tackle boxes here. See, what I love about these, you can take them home, clean them up, you get to the boat, pop them in. And they got these little things that keep the keep the tackle boxes from falling out, which is really cool. You got a really big live load here. It's 55 gallons recirculating. It's got two 2,000 gallon per hour pumps and it's pressurized, so it fills all the way up. A lot of fun. And then in here, I've got insulated coolers for bait or drinks as well. And then a lot of people have been commenting how nice it is uh, to have these hatches back here to access your bilge. So you got your bilge pumps and your fuel selector valves down there. You got twin jack plates. So another really unique thing about this boat is it's got tunnels built into the bottom. So we can not only idle, but we can also run through very shallow water. Where do you think the draft is on this boat? This uh, boat drafts uh, right around between 14 and 16 inches. A 32 foot boat, call it 16 inches to be safe, is insane. 16 and inches. Maybe go a little bit shallower. So. And you can idle through that because you can lift the jack plates up and idle through it, and you can run across it on plane. I got all the courtesy lights in here. You know, can see all the lights there around the whole yeah. boat, which gives it a nice little. Uh, yeah, you got your raw water wash down. Actually, there's lights under the gunnel too, and there's lights on the speakers. So this thing lights up like Christmas tree at night. It's really More nice. More storage. More storage too, under there. Lots of storage on these boats, yeah. guys. So one thing I will say about the 32X3, it's definitely fully offshore capable, but I mean, we're calling it the biggest bay boat on the market. It's just fun for the whole family. You can take anybody you want. It's very stable. Uh, it's easy to trailer, and it's just a good time for everybody. Thanks for the tour. We'll, get, we'll show you off the top of the tower a little bit, the control steering wheel and the seat, and uh, good luck with it. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. We're on the brand new 35 Freeman with Scott here. He's going to tell you all about it and some of the features. Give us a rundown, Scott. Welcome aboard. Um, hall number one, right? Hall number one. First one ever. Matter of fact, we were working on it last week. Our team pulled another rabbit out of their hat, had it ready for the Miami Boat Show, ran down, put it in at Lauderdale, came here, ate up the seas, super duper happy with it. So like a souped up 34, a little bit bigger, so, combo 37, 38. So a lot of our models as, as we've progressed through the years, going from 42 to 43, 37, 38, that's kind of come and still in the works. This is the first one that's a complete redesign. Okay. This boat has actually got the beam of the 37. 
So it gives us the opportunity to do quads, um, a whole lot more room, a whole lot more stability. Um, the double coffin box, just a whole lot bigger platform. Let's start the bow and we'll work our way back here. Bow, anchor locker. I did like the anchor locker. Yeah, there the you update. go. Something so, simple, yeah. but very useful. Right. So easier to hold anchor in place and not bounce around in front of the boat. It doesn't hit your speaker. And they also move the speakers to the corner there so they wouldn't get hit by the anchor. Right, that's one of the that things stuff. in the other models that we've had to protect their speakers. So you've got to have your sound. Two storage hatches up here again as well. Mm -hmm. Life jackets, whatever else you want to put in there. All right, as we walk through the boat, we have a dual console, the gull wing design here, excuse me, the uh, coffin box. Gives you 425 quarts per side. You can use, obviously, both as fish storage, one dry, one wet, uh, anything you want to do there. We are our oversized dry storage box, which is massive. We were going to get someone to take a nap in there, but I couldn't get anybody to, to let me lock the door on top of them. But uh, store bean bags, dry, anything you need to keep in there, safety equipment. Sliding back again, our mechanical box. This box, boat actually has our safety gear for the boat show in it. More again, dry storage. Open up our console. It's an option to have a head. This particular model does not have this, excuse me, this particular boat does not have a head, but we can sure do that. We have a side dive door as you walk back. Something new to the 34 lineup. Side dive door here. Our 70 gallon floor insulated box that can be used as a live well. Dive door standard, correct? Dive door standard. So that's that nice, the dive door standard on this model on the 35. Oversized bilge, get in there, work on anything that needs to be worked on. We do have our sea chest system to keep all your bait. Insulated 25 quart boxes. This is new to this lineup as well. We have two 50 gallon transom live wells. This is actually the same configuration on our 42, 43, and 47. Gives you just unlimited fishing possibilities. Our rear facing seat armrests, cup holders. Enjoy that ride out as long as Nick doesn't drive too fast. Yep, I got another drink boxes. Put your food and lunch in there. Very comfortable. Back up to the helm. Triple wide seating. I have a cup holders here. It is big enough for twin 22 inch garments as well. This boat does have the Optimus joystick, <clears throat> Mercury gauges, two VHFs. Um, this boat, this particular model um, has quad 225s. So a lot of people have asked about that. The boat was originally designed to run off of twin Mercury V10s or Yamaha 450s, but the transom and the whip we have gives us the op option to do quads if we want to. We did the very first hull with quad 225s, just trying to maintain the balance of the boat. Gives you that same power, but you have basically four wheel drive with those four lower units. And we've been very, very happy with it. We'll continue to experiment on whatever, you know, other possible combinations of power, whether we do 300s as well. But like I said, the twin is going to be the preferred package, but there'll be multiple offerings. We do have another insulated fish box in the front that does drain overboard. So endless amounts of cold storage. A couple other things I noticed, the integrated rod holders oh, yeah. on the coffin box. Oh yeah, that's new. That's been requested for a while. Yeah, it cleans up the side. There was some concern about people bumping their legs on here. I never really felt it was a problem, but I, I get constantly asked about it. So we, uh, we opted out. And it's easier to chamois or clean, at least that way, right? That's right. You have people you know, out there, one. Nick. No, we have a spot zero. We don't have to chamois the boat. There you go. So. There you go. We didn't mention the glass windshield either. Glass that's windshield. Used. That's another addition right, right, right there. The windshield wiper. There's a windshield wiper. There's actually a windshield wiper fluid container over there, right? right. Yep, yep, yep. On the other side there, there's a windshield wiper, glass. What do you call this piping again? D-piping? D-tubing, yeah. D-tubing here. And that's what we have on our 28. We did make is the, the tower will definitely be an option. Uh, we'll be able to use this existing top. We'll probably be able to install a, a rear facing screen here as well if you want. But then when the tower is there, obviously you're gonna have the ladder that runs up north there. Yep, and here, a couple tackle boxes, a couple drawers, put all our stuff in there. Mirror on both sides, like Scott said. And a uh, little glove box up here. And I think that pretty much covers the new 35 Freeman, so. Yeah, give us a call, look us up, freemanboatworks.com. Give my, <laughs> <laughs> Freemboatworks.com. We're also on all the social media sites. We have added a new team member. Faith is around here somewhere. Just going to be doing a lot with our social media here coming up. So hopefully you'll see uh, some some new stuff coming. She's uh, very creative, and so it should be a, should be a good time. One other thing we didn't mention was the integrated rod holders in the back of the boat here, as well as you know, the coffin box we showed you. But three here, three in the center, three on that side, and. A lot of these new models, you know, this 35, the 43, the 47, last couple of years, they all have that, which is a super nice feature. A little stronger, cleaner looking, and uh, a nice little add-on. We're on the 28 Freeman now. There's a couple of new options on this one that mine doesn't have. Nick, tell me about the back seat. We got the new Mega Bench option. So this is something we just came out with. 
kind of the goal with this is to have a seating arrangement that you can kind of move around. So this is how it's set up all the way. And if you want to configure the bench in a different area, we can actually put these posts together, move them together if you just want to use that center seat. And then easy access to remove the cushions, which will give you access to both your bilges and then your twin live wells under there. So the live wells are still there. Now this boat has a few other upgraded options. The seats stand out, they're beautiful. Yep, these are the new Teak seats. So keep getting questions. We wanna see something with a little bit more glitz. So we've got the new Teak seats from Miami Prestige. We really like them, think they turned out good. Teak Edson steering wheel to match and came out really nice. Single 24 inch Garmin as well, right? Single 24 inch Garmin. So we got the 24 inch Garmin on our boat. They got some decket up here, phone holders and all that. Twin 300 Yamahas, and I think you're gonna start seeing a lot more Yamahas on the Freemans again for good reason, so we're excited. The new 350s, I see Bill Platts over there with his 37 Freemans, he's got the quad 350s on it, and this one here's got twin 300s, great boat. What about up front, anything different? Up front, we've got the new Garmin crack and trolling motor. So this is the first boat we've done. We can still do Rodan as well, um, but really excited with this new Garmin. They've got the new live scope, so super exciting to, to have. Teak accent back here as well. And is this a standard color cushion package or not? Uh, all new color. We just tried. This is the new khaki color. The new khaki. It looks good because they have the same color on the 35 over there. Got their windshield wiper, the glass windshield, the D piping there. Super clean, super good. What was the hull color on this one? Uh, hull color is aqua mist. Aqua mist. So, so it's like a very light sea foam almost, right? This has been light sea foam. It's honestly been the color flavor of the month, really. All right, so people are getting them. If you guys want to get a 28, let us know. We do offer sea trials in Amrata as well. And uh, you ride with us, you buy with us. Just remember that. Couple other upgraded options on this one. It has the joystick. That's Yamaha Hellmaster, correct? Yamaha Hellmaster. And he's got one more thing inside the console he's going to show you. We needed something to make sure all the girls were happy. So this is the first 28 we've actually put a head inside. So excited for that as well. So that's an option if you want one. If you need it. Well, thanks for watching this far. And if you've never been to the Miami Boat Show, highly recommend you come check it out. It's also cool to see all the electronics, all the other gear, the tackle, and we spent some time in the Garmin booth there. And they got some new stuff that just came out. Super excited to see that in person. And we're gonna put the new GSD sounder module on the 42 Freeman that we have. So that'll be awesome. Also got to check with the Rodan team. And you know, we've got the Rodan trolling motor on both our 28 and our 25 foot bay boats. And I've uh, been super happy with them. So if you're getting a trolling motor, check out the Rodans. It's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. Uh, some other news we have. The gigantic nautical market in Amrata is this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We'll be there with a stands, booth, and tent, so hopefully we'll see some more of you guys there. Just want to say thanks to everybody who came by the boat show and said hey that watches their channel. And uh, don't forget, our sale is still going on on the website at standsfishing.com. Buy one, get one free. So BOGO and all of our shirts and hats, performance shirts, cotton shirts, long sleeves, all that good stuff, and our hats. So buy one, get one free on the website right now. Go take advantage of it at standsfishing.com. And uh, I think that's going to wrap it up. So hit that like button, make sure to subscribe. Come on down here to Bud Mary's and Amrata, and hopefully we'll see you down here fishing one day.